Hi, I'm Tuukka Ahoninni, an authorized Q trainer from Digio. Welcome to this learning video based on material taken from Q Essentials training course. With these videos, we're gonna give you key insights into Q, as well as demonstrate the style of the in-depth training given in the Q Essentials training course, which are classroom based. Graphics View is all about making custom graphics. So it might be interesting to see how you do your custom graphics items as well. You basically derive from Q graphics item your own subclass, which will then be your own custom item. In order to do that, you will need to provide implementation for two pure virtual methods, the paint and bounding rate. In function paint, you will form the custom painting operations using the QPainter interface, which is the same interface you would use to draw Q widgets. The purpose of bounding rect function is then to return a rough estimate on the other limits of your widget. In case you're doing precise collision checking, then I recommend you also implement the shape function, which is then the precise outer boundaries of your, um, of your custom item. So here's a picture showing the differences. I have three ellipses here, and basically, if I would only use the pounding rect, which is a rectangle, um, these three would collide. But if I re-implement the shape function, I can say that these are actually not colliding. So what do you then write inside the paint function? The item is in complete control of drawing itself. So you will do the whole painting operation inside the paint function. You will use QPainter, which is the same class you use for all drawing in Qt. I'll show you an example. Let's start working with our project. So, I'm about to create my own custom item called Super Item, because that's what it's going to be. It's going to be really super. And it's directly derived from Q Graphics Item. In case I would want to do, I would also derive it from some other subclass like Q Graphics Rect item or Q Graphics Pixmap item, and then just extend the behavior as I wish. But now I'm doing a completely custom one, so it's derived from Q Graphics item. And I need to provide implementation for two functions. First of all, function paint. And as you see, you will get quite a bunch of parameters. And in contradiction of the Q painting Q widgets, you're, you're not supposed to create the Q painter instance every time. But instead, you'll use an existing object of Q painter. Besides paint function, I will also need the bounding rect function. And this is a const function that only returns the outer, the rough estimate for the outer boundaries. Okay, <clears throat> let's start implementing this. I'll start with the bounding rect function, which returns the q rect f. And in this case, it will always return a rectangle of size 30 times 30. Then the painting function and here I'm using the existing Q painter class and let's say I want to draw a rounded rectangle. I'm drawing from 0, 0 to 30, 30, and with the radius 
being 5 pixels. Like the all QPainter commands, I can of course set the, paint, um, the painter's brush and pen here manually. So let's say we'll draw the yellow from the plate set. And this is the minimum I need to do. So at this point we can already start creating objects of this class. I have a main function here. Um, it already has a graphics view that's showing an empty scene. And as you can see, the scene is black and of size 300 times 300. So, at this moment, This is what I would get. So let's add one super item there. I'll just create an instance of it and they'll, then they'll the scene add item super. Yes? Let's try it. Great! There's a super item. Okay. Yeah. That's a custom item, but maybe we'd want to add some interaction. Let's for instance see how, how can we get this moving here. And for that, we will need event handling. The queue graphics items are not queue objects. And as they are not queue objects, they are not involved in the normal event handling or the event distribution mechanism of Qt. But instead, the Q graphics view, which is a widget, that one will receive all those events, and that one will develop scene to propagate those events onwards to those items. And the mechanism how the items receive the events is pretty similar than with queue objects. You will get function scene event call, which is for all events. That's similar to queue widgets event function. And that's sort of like checking what kind of an event it is. That function will then go on and call one of these virtual event handlers, like key press event, mouse move event, wheel event, and so on. So in this case, if I want to make my super eyes movable with keys, hardware keys, I will need to re-implement key press event for it. Let's do that. Okay, so now I need to add my own implementation a virtual function key press event. Let's do that. The key press event has the Q key event as its parameter. And from the Q key event I can ask what was the key that was pressed. So I'm gonna do a Swiss case that will examine the key that was received. So, in case the right key was pressed, I'm going to do the following. I shall move my item with 30 pixels. And then we'll copy paste this for the other arrow keys. Left moves minus 30 pixels, up moves minus 30 pixels on y-axis, and down moves 30 pixels on y-axis. At this moment it would not do anything yet for two reasons. First of all, even though the position would be changed, it would not update itself. But I will explicitly need to add update function call here so that it will ask for a redraw whenever it has received one of these key presses. 
The second reason why it's not yet working is that it doesn't get focus. By default, these items are not focusable. So I will need to say set flag item is focusable and now in the main function I can say that super set focus. I could do this with mouse as well but now I did it programmatically. So let's let's see. Where a moving rounded rectangle. That's what I call custom graphics. Okay, now we could easily extend this more and I've actually done it already with another project here called the Pi Game. So with just a few modifications, I'll show you which ones. I extended this to be a game of pies. Um, after multiple years of getting eaten by humans, the pies have eventually decided to fight back. So, instead of, I, otherwise it's the same super item here, but instead of drawing a rectangle, I'm drawing a pie. You can do that easily with QPainter's draw pie function. And also, I'm applying a rotation on the pie depending on the direction where it's going. You can see that in the key press event function, I'm storing a value for the rotation depending on the direction that was selected. And then that rotation is applied just before we draw the pie. I also have another object here, or another class, called dot. This is a simple Q, custom Q graphics item. And that does nothing else than draws a peak, peaks map. It draws an image from a file in case it has not been eaten by the pie. So there's collision checking here as well. With colliding items, I, I can ask for the list of Q graphics items that are at the same coordinates than this one is. Okay, let's see how it looks like. Yay! Yeah. The pies will eventually get their events. Okay, let's do a short summary of Graphics View. First of all, Graphics View is a cube widget. You can use it with other cube widgets, just as a canvas for two-dimensional custom graphics. You can also use the Graphics View to be the whole main window and create a whole user experience in a completely custom way using the graphics items. Especially in mobile platforms, Graphics View is something you can easily use to create custom user experiences. Like in this case, the Fluid Launcher application has been completely implemented with Q Graphics View. So the Q Graphics View is showing contents of a Q Graphics scene. And that scene acts as a container and also it propagates events and handles the whole collection of Q graphics items. Those items can be, you can use, if you want to do your items, you can use existing classes like rectangle, text, ellipse, but it's not that difficult to create your custom classes either. Just implement the bounding rec and the paint function, at least. And inside paint function, you basically 
use the same, the very same painting operations you do when you are drawing Q paint, with Q Painter Q widgets. Um, it's easy to apply transformations, rotations for the different parts of Graphics View architecture because all of them work in their own local coordinate systems. The painting operations, for instance, are not affected at all if the view outside gets transformed. We hope you enjoyed this taster of our Qt Essentials training course. For the full interactive experience, including labs, questions and answers, additional info, I personally recommend you attend the full multi-day training Qt Essentials provided by Digia or any of the other Q training partners. For more information, please check q.nokia.com. Thanks for watching.